Hello everybody, I'm Spark249 and welcome to episode 25 of Let's Play Spyro 2. Um, now, although the boss battle against Ripto is actually the next realm, we're not going to be doing that this episode. We're actually going to be travelling back to four old realms. And we're going to be picking up all the gems and orbs that we've missed. In essence, we're going to be 100%ing the rest of the game before we fight Ripto. So, the first place is actually the first homeworld, Summer Forest. And you might remember, the thing we're missing here is we didn't have the climb ability where when we were first here. And hurry up and load Summer Forest. Come on, there you go. So, the climb ability is required just down here. And up here there's a few gems and an orb which was bouncing around by itself. I did mention when we were first here that there is a swimming in the air glitch to do it, but what's the fun of glitching it when it's when you can just come back for it and do it legitimately? Especially when this isn't a speedrun or anything. Uh, where am I going? Over here by Laura. She's going to probably say to me, Hey, you, you can climb now. Go up and get the orb. And I'm way ahead of you. So as you can see, here we are. Gems. And over there, an orb. All the orbs. Uh oh. That's not good. That's really not good. I'm missing gems in Summer Forest. <laughs> uh oh. Um. They're probably somewhere blatantly obvious. I hope they're somewhere blatantly obvious. I'll be back when I find them! Found it. It's in the lake next to Colossus and Idle Springs. In a little bottle. Anyway, Summer Forest complete. Where am I going? The next level, out of the four we have to revisit, is Sunny Beach. Once again, there was a skip available, which I ignored because I've seen it performed on a video before and it why did I close that? And it looks near enough impossible. So Ah, let's do things legitimately. This is one of my least favourite challenges in the game, not because it's particularly hard, just because it's such a long backtrack to come back here to do it. And it has a second harder version what you have to do. It's also, unfortunately, right at the end of the um, level, so Oh, and it's one of those levels where it's a puzzle to get through, like you have to play with these turtles. Stand on the switch. There we are. Having none of your nonsense today, sir. Uh, I hope I don't need a power-up. Be quiet, giant duck thing. Okay, claim this guy. What happened then? Oh, climb ability needed. There's gems. I'm not panicking this time that we didn't get the all gems reminder, because we should not yet have all the gems. There's actually a few by this last orb challenge. Here we are. Right, I'm going to avoid talking to the, the master. I'm going to avoid for climbing up the ladder to begin with, but uh, I'm going to avoid talking to the master chef for a second, because I want to go and get these gems, to make sure I actually have them all this time. Good! Okay, so this is the Master Chef. Uh, he's a very evil looking penguin thing. And he wants to make dinner, or make turtle soup, basically. Your turtle friends happen to make a very good soup, if I can catch them. You can try to say them if you like, but I'm feeling awfully hungry. Let's keep the turtles out of the cauldron. This is two star, this is easy. Uh, apart from the fact the camera moves quite awkwardly. Okay, I saw one come out of there. All you have to do is you want to charge them, not flame them. Uh, in there. They're in the water, they're safe. Just don't let them, like, turn them around if you need to, just don't let them get too close to the thing. And, aww, they ricochet around if you headbutt them, so... They do, we'll spend a second there before they actually go in the thing. But once you get all of them in there, you so, win. Oh, you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. Okay. As you can see, the turtles are for some reason obsessed with jumping in the soup cauldron. Alright, come on. Next one. Next turtles. 
Uh, I'm going to attempt to do this by staying near the cauldron and just batting them away when they go for it in the hope that they'll ricochet into the pool. This is probably not the most intelligent way of doing this. Thanks for you. Because they could end up anywhere. Oh, yeah, come on. No. That was close. He was about to jump in there. Oh, how did I miss you? Go in the water. I'm not sure on the exact amount. I'm not even sure if it is an amount. I think it just might just be keep the turtles out of the soup for a certain amount of time, which is not bothering to display to me. Nope, you're too close to that cauldron. Oh, God. No, 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 I was so close. I was so close. No! See, one of them jumped in. Start again. Wow. So now I'm going to sacrifice more baby turtles to this, to the whim of this uh, penguin thing. Go that way. Stay away from the soup. Sir, step away from the song. No. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> they ricochet off of each other. I didn't actually know they did that. Let's do that again. <laughs> okay, I flamed one so that I could charge the other. I flamed both of those just to keep them away from the soup. Flamed one of them to keep him away while I sort out his friends. How many turtles are you intent on eating, you greedy, greedy penguin? There we go, done, Rats. finally. You save every turtle on the beach. Here, take this. I was going to use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. Ah, oh, I feel sorry for him. We should invite him to lunch. Main course being penguin. Sunny Beach complete. Let's get out of it. Oh, locked door. There we go. Sorted you out. Let's just put this last penguin. We can just pause, quit out, but what's the fun in that? Uh, I really don't like doing that challenge, by the way. Come on. There we go. Door open. Let's get out. Of Thank you. You already have this talisman. I know I do. I didn't actually mean to talk to you. I just meant to destroy this. Oh, the portal was solid there for a second. Uh, you can skip this, I think, now. Yes. I'm not sure which button it was. I just pushed all of them. But you can skip these scenes after you see them. Although the intros won't automatically play unless you push triangle when you're going into a level. Okay, so we are completely done with the first home world now. Let's get out of the first home world. Uh, let's go this way. So I don't have to do any swimming. Around here, because there's two of each of the portals. There's one that near the nearish the beginning of the level, and there's one near the boss. So now we're actually going to Autumn Plains. There's two levels here as well, uh, and those two are Fracture Hills, which we needed the Head Bash for, and Shady Oasis, which we also need the Head Bash for. There's a challenge in each of them, and I don't believe we're missing that many gems. So anyway, I'll be back once I'm at Fracture Hills, this portal. Okay, here we are, Fracture Hills. There's no gems left in this level, we've already grabbed all 400. Um, there are, however, two orbs here. And we could have gotten the first one in the first playthrough, but it is actually required to do the first one. I'm actually going to open these guys up just because I feel like it, and because I like leaving through the exit portal, I'm trying to speak loudly over the uh, music that's apparently bad enough to crack rock. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I like leaving through the exit portal, so it'll just be quicker to open these guys on the Thank normal you. route around rather than coming back to them later. Um, you look 
one of you is going to eat me. Oh, really? Well, you are. So are you. I have no idea why Spyro's Fire Breath in that s certain situation can crack. Oh, if you push start, it'll actually... That's okay. I knew one of you was going to try and kill me. Uh, if you push start, you'll actually skip the most of the animation. Yeah, Spyro can apparently crack rock with his flame breath. In a who knew? Three. Okay, you're alive. You're alive. Ow, and you usually end up killing me because I have to jump there. I think that's four. There's only be two left to open up the center. That's five. I mean, the orb challenges are right at the end of this long trail anyway, so we might as well. Um, it's great to be. Yeah, we might as well do these while we're doing it. Does that make any sense in English at all? Which probably didn't. Okay, you're the alive one. Die. I feel a little bit sorry for them after they try and kill me. Absolutely. Okay, here's the last save here. Okay, problem solved. Large rocky structure broken. Now let's jump down here and do the orb challenge, which involves all of these earth shapers. Hunter over here needs freeing, basically. And the only guy who can go and free that rock that yeah, him from these rocky shoes is the alchemist. Who is walking me around here? Yeah, I've been experimenting with this potion. I'd like to test it out, but the earth shapers out there have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Well, I would, but, you know, you're, you're not just going to turn left and walk straight to Hunter. You're going to go and wander around all these, these Earth Shapers. Just keep those Earth Shapers away from me and I'll take this potion to Hunter. This is four-star difficulty. This is actually quite difficult. Especially if you've never played the game before. Because basically, the Earth Shaper... Swill. See? The moment I saw he was walking towards that specific Earth Shaper... I tried to stop that specific Earth Shaper, and then that, it was too late. And you can't just stay near the Earth Shaper because the Earth Shaper will smack you. So the thing is, what you need to do is you just need to knock the Earth Shapers away from the path. So as long as you know which ones it's going to be, see, he looked like he was going for the left one, then he suddenly changes direction. This is a really irritating mission. And this may take me a few dozen tries. Will you? Yes, I will escort you. I'm not going to listen to that. I did the trolley thing. You know, I'm just going to try and knock them all the way, like, now. I figure if I can get them all away from the main path, he can't really walk into them. I've probably missed one Some I have missed one. I... No? That's the one I knocked against the wall, but he was going to walk right up to him anyway. Wonderful. Good to know. Yes, I will escort you. I should have knocked all the Earth Shapers away beforehand. By the way, if you jump when you're charging against the Earth Shapers... Um... Oh, I remember they walk back towards their original starting positions, don't they? That explains everything. Nope. Oh, you didn't walk this way, did you? You walked around that one at the back. <sighs> I wished I was. I wish I was good enough at this game to bring the supercharge power up d down here. Because if you kill all the Earth Shapers beforehand, this is the easiest mission in the world. Is to sit back and wait for ten minutes as this extremely old man tries to. You can just stay there. I can't kill you, yet. I can irritate you. Nope, 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 you go to this one first, don't you? Then you- Ow! I need health! Sorry, you never actually walked to that one. Walk to this one, then probably to this one. There's only one more Earth Shaper that can possibly be in your path. If you somehow get killed on another one, Oh, of course you are. Of course you were. I clear a path for you. 
and you just walk really? off in your own little world and... Ugh. I don't like the alchemist, in case you hadn't guessed. He's just irritating. Ow, I'm dead, I'm actually dead. I wasn't aware I'd taken a hit after I killed that pig. Where do you is See? Great. I've lost, I think, two lives by actual damage in this game, not counting falling out of the world. And one of them was because of this stupid challenge. Ow, face. Okay, you're out of the way. Um, let's see, you're the next Earth Shaper who he has a yeah, jump really early if you do if you do this trick of keeping all the Earth Shapers permanently away because they can't hit you if you're basically at the peak of your jump. They will hit you in every other situation. Yeah, because you did this, didn't you? You made it look like you... See, they even made it so he looks like he's going towards one Earth Shaper, then completely turns around. If you do not turn right, I will kill you myself. Good. Okay, so now we've finally done that, and you can see why I didn't have to do this twice. He frees Hunter. Hunter has Man, a bow for some inexplicable feet reason. Feel better. Would you look after this for me? That didn't make any sense. Also, why is this the only one with the camera angles different? As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn Earth Shapers? Yes, yes I would. Oh, right. When I shoot an Earth Shaper with an arrow. You head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then press triangle. Yeah, this you isn't actually get that all easy. Of them at once, or they'll just invite more of their friends. Let's go. This is also force our difficulty. This is just as hard. So here's what happens. Hunter will shoot one of them. You now have about two seconds to kill that guy. While Hunter's already off attacking another one. At half time, you can't actually tell which one it is he shot. No! Not that one! Okay. Stop shooting the most awkwardly placed ones. Alright, you must have shot this one. See? There was no way for me to get that one in time without preemptively knowing it was going. He was going to shoot them in that as order. As long as you're here. But now you have to do it all again because apparently they invited more back who look exactly the same and stand in the exact same positions. So he shoots this earth shaper. He'll then shoot the one where we can just see over there. Okay, so shoot this one, Hunter, please. There we go. Oh, that also occasionally happen. You now have to get over here very quickly. He's also going to shoot the one over there at the back next. No, a very long shot. He will then take a shot through here, because this is the next uh, logical one for him to shoot. And, yeah. And now it's this one, which gets up really quickly. Then it's that one. Then I think there's two more. Oh, no, that was the last one. Wonderful. A great team. So that was yeah, Fracture Hill's was complete. To give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. Um, yeah, I joined the club. We have t-shirts. They say, I hate the alchemist. I should get a t-shirt that says, I hate the alchemist. Fracture Hill's complete. Okay, so... Where am I going? Uh, so I will exit out of Fracture Hills and meet uh, you at the portal to the final level we need to clean up. Shady Oasis. Okay, here we are. Shady Oasis. Uh, where there's actually 20 gems we've missed. I'm not actually sure where they are, though they might be next to this challenge. And the final orb in the game, the 64th orb. And once again, it's right at the end of the level, and this is another stupid puzzle level where you need to do everything in order. So yeah, this may take a while. Whoops. Or oh, actually, no wait, it's up, not down. I was, I thought maybe because this one has levels where uh, it's possible to jump from one area to another that I might have been able to... Right, there we go. I want to know what's in those berries, because whatever it is cannot be good for you, Mr. Hippo. What crap do you put on waves? Ow! Are you related to that person who killed me, who tried to kill me repeatedly in, um... Scorch. 
What's the name level I'm looking for? Okay, so that's... Get out of my way, Hippo! So that was the name of the level I was looking for, Scorch. Um, the guy who sits on a magic carpet and lobs the blue energy orb things at you. To stop you from getting the flags. Or something along those lines. Here you go. I will get out of your way. I do like how he kills enemies, though, by doing that. There we go. Is there a peacock? Yes, there is a peacock. Die. So you must die so sparks may live. You tried. You failed. Let's keep going. Die. You're dead. You're dead. Hey, I'm getting good at this whole murdering all the enemies in the game. Okay, so this is the one where I'm supposed to... Um, get the green rock. That's it. It's not a mystery bottle I'm missing, is it? Or did I already do the mystery bottle? Good idea, is it? I want it. Give it. Oh. I wanted that. Right, break open the final door so I can get through to this last stupid area. That peacock looked funny coloured from over there. Anyway. Right, are there any gems over here? Or have I missed 20 somewhere completely? Oh. I missed 20. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't at all. It's this head bash crate. What just happened? This one's indestructible, even to Spyro's thick skull. There we are. That's every gem. That might even be every gem in the game. All 10,000. Yes, that completely did not say 5,900. Money bags has not stolen Mighty that immense brothers amount have been from us. Trapped in rock and will sink in the lava if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping, then pressing triangle and follow my lead. Yeah, you've got a small amount of time to go and free the hippos from their rocky prisons, and this is where you need the invincibility power up and head bash. Like it might actually be possible to do this. Yeah, you have not got actually long to free these guys. Uh, they always land in a set pattern, though, as far as I'm aware. Where's the last one? There you are. There you are. And why he needs the invincibility Big power when he can fly? To save all of them. Take this thing too. I'm too tired to carry it anymore. Well, you are already a little hippo. Uh, yes, yeah, so I would gladly take the final orb in the game. So there we are, 64 out of 64. Okay, so we have every orb in the game. Now there's got to be a magical whirlwind around here. I refuse to believe there isn't. Come on. Seriously, there has to be one here somewhere. How do I... Because usually, if you have to do a drop like that, they'll leave a magical whirlwind for you to climb back up. Oh, that's irritating. Unless it's here. No, I think that was where the mystery bottle started. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we've collected every single gem, every single orb, I think. Oh, we've got every gem anyway. I hope we have every gem. It's awkward because money bags takes all your cash from you, so... I have this awkward 5,900, and I'm left thinking, hmm, do I actually have the all 10,000? Though I believe I do. So, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, we're, this is the only episode which is going to take place over quite a few different levels. And next episode, we'll take on Ripto. Uh, yeah, I'm Spark249. Have fun!